gotten to a massage. Thank you. How are you feeling today? When you were speaking earlier, you were saying that you're experiencing a little bit of Sunday anxiety. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about that? I think just knowing that tomorrow's Monday, yeah. that the weekend is almost over. Yeah. Kind of the mm -hmm. anticipation, but not really in a positive way. Kind of like a dread. A dread, yeah. That can certainly happen, for sure, whether it's school or work. But I do find that that dread and the constant worrying and thinking about the next day takes us away from the moment we have right now. Yeah. It's still Sunday. Let's not let Monday take away any of that. And even if it were Monday, working and all of that, we can still incorporate self-care practices, relaxation techniques, even while you're working. Deep breathing, maybe using some essential oils, which I have here as well, which we'll use today. And just taking the time to really connect with your breath, with your senses, with the little subtle moments of the work day. is absolutely beautiful. So I was thinking we could do a scalp check and a scalp massage as well as a bit of a upper body massage. Are there any areas of your body you'd like me to pay some more attention to? Um, probably my neck. Your neck? Definitely. To get started, is there a an essential oil remedy that you would like for me to put on you? Um, we have pe peppermint halo. Yeah, I was gonna say peppermint. Yeah, this tends to be the one that people really like. can put a little bit on your neck as well. Just going to turn your neck this way. And the other way. Second. Put some on your traps too. Lower traps. And I do have a bit of a cut on my finger. Let's hope it doesn't open up. <laughs> it shouldn't. I think it's well clotted by now. Just my clumsiness yesterday. Which, again, gotta make sure to be really present and aware when you're doing tasks like cutting vegetables, for example. Or anything at all.
I'm going to use a little bit of this Tantra body oil. a bit of traction at the top. And a little bit of light kneading on the neck. Back of the neck. Sort of squeezing the traps here. So this Tantra oil has um, a couple of essential oils, orange peel oil, lavender, vanilla, camphor, sandalwood, ginger. So you can breathe that in, the lovely floral scents. Really. on your heart chakra. Really engaging the sensory experience of smell, which we often forget about. But it's one of the most sensitive senses that we have. We're able to pick up so many different odor particles and differentiate them and we can associate it with different emotions via the amygdala and we can also associate it with different memories via the hippocampus which I find so interesting I'm going to take a moment to apply some acupressure right here at the peak of the traps, gallbladder 16, the shoulder well point, Jinjing. Just one of my absolute favorite points. be helpful for relieving pain in this area, but also helping to ground the person, release any difficult emotions, any burdens.
take a deep breath in and out, release any stress, any anxiety, just everything. Let's do one more deep breath in. And release. You can let it all go. There's no need to hold on to it any longer. Sorry, I'm going to make a little oily today. Alright. Let's go ahead and do the scalp check. be starting at the interior hairline, right at the midline, and we're going to go slowly and thoroughly for any signs of excess sebum or too little or any flakiness which I do not see at all so don't worry I won't be flowing on your scalp every little centimeter also checking for any potential signs of infestation but I really doubt that and so far your scalp is very healthy Right 
checking the temple area. It's a little bit dry over here. I'm going to turn your head slightly like this. Thank you. Is that okay for you? I really like your natural hair color. It's very vibrant. No signs of damage to the scalp. No signs of irritation. I haven't seen any Neva either. your head slightly more, just like that. Thank you. You can relax. Good. And then just checking the occipital region of the scalp. We're going to do the other side now. Just going to have you turn your head just like that. Good.
free to drift off to sleep if you like. You're more than welcome to. This is your relaxation place. There's nothing you need to. There's nothing you need to do. you're here, I did do a little bit of a neck massage, so I'm just going to get a little bit of this avocado oil.
just the Breaking up some of the adhesions here. The tight knots. You don't have to do anything. I'm just going to slide my hand under. sternocleidomastoid gently working in this area as well a neat little trick I wanted to try. My friend 
really taught me this too. Taught this to me. I'm using a bit of peppermint halo and rolling it on. placing each of the little tips of this head scratcher into the peppermint halo. This is going to be an extra tingly head scratch. Really distributing the peppermint halo to all areas of the scalp. It can be really satisfying on its own, but if you have a headache, this can be incredibly beneficial at relieving the headache. The peppermint oil can also help to increase circulation to the scalp, thereby improving hair growth. leaving any worries.
and we're coming near the end of our massage. I would love for you to take this incredibly peaceful, relaxed state of being into your work week. And realize that you can access this state anytime. Even when you're working, you can relax into it. You can breathe into it. Relax into any feelings, uncomfortable, comfortable, anything at all. Come back to this relaxation. much for spending time